what up? Solo and Acton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some Jax up in the top lane. Uh, I actually haven't thought about what build I want to do. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Might do this one, actually. Freeze and hit. Get Stridebreaker. Stridebreaker plus Bork. How you getting away from that? Jump on him. Use Bork. Well, jump on him. Bork slow happens after we auto W. And then after that slow ends, we'll pop the Stride Breaker. I like it. Let's do it. I wasn't really sure what I wanted level one. You could do like cheesy stuff and go, oops, and go uh, Q. But that probably only works if you do like Ignite. Take Ignite. Ooh, he missed it. Oh. Mission failed. Can he pop a potion? Did he pop a potion already or not buy one? What? When did he pop that? What the heck? Interesting. I'm gonna pop one in a second myself. Whoa! Payton. I do prefer the way of shoving into me early. But he's moving down to this. Don't chase. Yeah. Dope. We get the cannon. He might miss it. Flame. Uh, probably gonna be chilling mostly until. Probably gonna be chilling mostly. I know I just did an aggressive play. Uh, but chilling mostly until like level six. I don't really think I'm gonna be able to burst him early. I kind of just wanted to see how much damage I could do, do to him right there. But yeah, I, I think it's going to be important to get more points into our W, obviously, and then our level 6. Level 6, every third attack, is an empowered hit. So like the ideal strat ends up being uh, auto-attack the minions twice, and then leap onto the champion. Attack, leap on them with your Q. You want to jump in like that because then you can't get out. That's all right. Take it. Okay, trade. Um, this wave would shove to me if I let it, but I just want to shove it, pop my potions, and get out of here. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. Last game I was talking about, uh, I had like an opponent who played like really passive. He was basically in the situation that I'm in right now with his wave shoving. But it was freezable, so I just kept freezing it on him. And he didn't like fully shove the wave in a tower to get it to reset. And one I, I mean I explained like a bunch of different things that you could do, you know. Pretend to be strong so your opponent has to back up. Let's actually do this first here. Yeah. Uh pretend to be powerful so your opponent has to back up. Or you can actually hit your opponent, or you can hit the wave. But the other thing is you just spam your potions as you're shoving. So like I was like almost full health, sure, but I just popped the potion right away. You know, it's an extra 125 health he's got to get through. And just spam chug your potions as you force a wave into tower. Because look it, I shoved it in, got the wave to bounce. We both left on the same wave. This is super ideal for me. I get to run back to lane, I get to drop my ward, and I get to come and get all this farm. And it's going to freeze out on the next wave too. And if it wasn't, I could just do stuff like this. Now there's a lot of minions here, so I want to be real careful. I need to try and actually trim some of them. I only really need four extra. Maintain a freeze. But also, a freeze is kind of hard to hold against ranged champions. Because they'll just poke you from outside of tower. So it's, most freezes here aren't really freezes. Unless you can jump on them and kill them, and I'm not at that point. Like I said, I probably need level 6 to be able to do that. So these early freezes are not that likely. You can do stuff like... Oof. Oh, I actually got it. Stuff like this, how you just kind of... It's not a full freeze, but it does keep it on the side of the map for quite a bit longer. You're just kind of stalling for time. Oh, I should have hit it already, I think. Uh, that's pointless. 
I did think about placing my regular ward, and I was like, uh, I don't think I'll even walk over here. What? Okay. <laughs> you have exhaust. I was so confused. <laughs> That works. We'll take it. Yeah, we just had a lot of crowd control there. That was uh, kind of interesting. Damn, that was cool. I want to get a ward down. I do want to stay and shove this wave in the tower. I mean, it's already going to shove in the tower and reset and bounce back to me, but I just want the cannon. So, like, every third hit is that empowered one. 100 extra damage, but we can also add our W onto it. Remember, W is an auto attack reset, so auto W immediately allows you to hit instead of waiting for that pause. Right now, we only have 0.85 attacks per second, so it's a quite a big pause. The more attack speed, the less that pause is. By the way, I should have left already, but it's all right. I'm being dumb. Oh, it's just bail. Back, TP. I'll make sure the wave catches. I actually don't think it does. Uh, no, it might. Right here? Wow. It's like I've done this before. <laughs> Alright, that'll do. TP in, grab boots here. First blood. Yeah, it's a slow uh, game kill wise. So our passive is every time we auto attack. Ooh, Ooh wow. Every time we auto attack, we build up attack speed. We can have eight stacks of that. Then you add on your uh, lethal tempo. It's actually pretty crazy. <clears throat> Jax damage. Okay. Yeah, so I, I kind of just... I had all my passive stacks prepped up. So I'm sitting there with like eight stacks of my attack speed. Each one's 6.5. So 52% attack speed stacked up off the minion wave. And then like I said, ready? One, two, and then the third hit is the empowered one with the bonus damage. So you just prepped it up. So I auto the minions twice. He was using, uh, he was killing a minion. And then he used his Q to do the third hit from his W. So it's like a little cooldown window. He doesn't have his Q. He just got the movement speed from his W, and it just wore off. So he's missing a, a couple of things, and I have a really good position. That's that's really what it is. It's like, do my advantages outweigh whatever he's giving me? So he's got a disadvantage because he wasted abilities, right? Uh, just gonna greed. He's got a disadvantage because he wasted some abilities. Ooh, maybe I could go jump. That's fine. And then I obviously have the advantage because I have my passive all the way stacked up, so I have a ton of extra attack speed. My next hit is preloaded with my extra uh, ultimate damage. Nice. That works for me. So yeah, it's just kind of about adding up all of your advantages, you know, and trying to see if it's enough. Yeah, this guy's damage is crazy. It might work. It might just like jump on me. Got this done off. I don't think I'm gonna catch him. Mm. I really think he would have came forward. All good. I think he should have been a little bit more patient. No worries. gonna jump on you like what do you expect <laughs> you don't have your w or you don't have your jump up anymore his jump's like a 24 second cooldown like it's like vladimir walking up without pool i just saw you use it you don't have it i'm not dumb people give you these cooldown windows and they don't think you're gonna punish them it's like the easiest thing to do 
understanding cooldown windows. When he uses this thing, he cannot use it again. So now if this thing is his escape tool, what does he not have? He doesn't have an escape tool anymore. So you capitalize on it. That's why like as those champions, so like I do it on Renekton all the time, right? If I, if I use my dash in, I do like a whole trade or whatever, and then I don't have dash anymore, I don't go up. I'm playing Vlad, I use my pool to survive a trade or do a trade, I don't have pool anymore, I don't walk forward. I sit back until it's almost back up, like a couple seconds away. That way I know if like I get into a fight, I can stall for another couple seconds and then it's available. I was gonna say, I think he's dead to... <laughs> he can't deal with this build actually. Blade and Stridebreaker is gonna be so good against him. The slows are just... <laughs> what's he gonna do? Alright, I'm bailing. Yeah. If he kept running forward and didn't stop, I would know somebody's like over here. He's gonna walk this way. As long as I ult first, I think I'm more than enough damage. Just follow him as he E's, and once his E's over, I auto W. Obviously, W's that auto attack reset. Timed that pretty well. I've been playing Pantheon a little bit lately. Dude, I am absolutely massive. Make sure to E and stun him while the Gromp was low, and then kill Gromp after the stun. Or while he was stunned. So he couldn't... Actually, he could smite it still. So I guess he just didn't have smite there. Otherwise, he would have smited it. So, I mean, it's a way to beat him when he doesn't have smite. Alright, let's bail. Over here. Dope. Alright, so now we have the double slows. Obviously this one we can activate ourselves, and this one happens on the second hit. So, attacking a champion. Oh, it's three times. Why did I always think it was two? Attacking a champion, leap auto W. That counts as three things, right? Attacking. Is that only autos? Does my leap count? Hmm. I'm just going to try and leap auto and see if it procs them. I guess that's the easy way. <laughs> I don't think it does. So I think I did that before. Nope. Oh, and it doesn't do it on my W either? No, because my W is the second hit. Duh. I needed one more still. Yeah, my W just does 190 damage right now. My third hit... That's 140. I can have both those going off at the same time. The rest of the map's kind of a bloodbath right now, though. I gotta try and get massive up here. Speed. Holy moly. <laughs> Pantheon feeding? Uh, he's four and three. I don't know if he's feeding. He just keeps trying to fight me like he can, and he definitely can't. Yeah, I don't want to die for that. By the way, definitely take this. Boy, oh, I, I pressed leap. I don't have a ward. If I had a ward, I could stay super long. Not too bad. Yep. Right tabby here. We'll get wits. I like keeping an extra ward on me, on Jax. You can always jump to these. So how I can use like my Q dominions, or champions, or ally wards. Well, you can use it to an enemy award, you just have to be able to see it. Okay. Doink.
just want to get very fed. Even if I'm not slowing, I should still use this. The cooldown is super low. I don't know why I'm just like holding it. I'm saving it forever. <laughs> What's the cooldown? It's like 15 seconds right now. Um, I don't know. It's 11 seconds. There's too many words, man. I couldn't figure out where it was. <laughs> just use it. Ooh, okay. I mean, I have to be a lot more careful now because they're obviously going to send 20 people to try and kill me. I have a huge shutdown. I know! It's a problem. It's a problem that I can't solve. Oh, because I'm silenced, bro. Oh my god. Alright, I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> That's fun. Oh my god, man. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna go bot. It's much easier for me to pressure a tier 3 versus a tier 2. But. When they send 20 people for me, then we just take mid towers for free. So that's cool. Damn, my death timer is forever. Let's go. Not too bad. Yeah, should have played even more safe. I didn't think the guy, like, was still sitting there. But, I mean, I was warding there. And he flashed over the wall and ult me. Or I think he uh, tried to ult me, and I ended up getting my E off right before he did it. And I think his... it turned him off or something? I don't exactly know what happened. But, uh, yeah. Because I couldn't jump right away, and then I could jump a little bit after that. But then I got silenced, and I couldn't jump again. A little confusing. My E stopped his ult, yeah. Like, I think he flashed on top of me, and I ended up pressing E right before he did it. Nobody's on the map, I don't really want to be here. Please don't be right here. Cool. Um, so we know two are top. I don't know where Nar and Mal's are. My two concerns. By the way, if I can start a fight when... Or if they try and fight me when I'm like stacked up like this, it's a lot better as well. They're diving here. Interesting. That was aggressive. Okay. Mm, I think I keep going. Dragons be the next thing. I don't have teleport for it though. This guy's in mid though. If I hard shove this next wave. Oops. And the jungle is bot. Should be able to get this. Oops. Oh. Literally none of that went the way I wanted it to. Can you not ward jump this? Or did I wasn't like close enough to the wall when I tried to do it, so it like moved me away, and then it's not gonna try and move you close to jump it. It's gonna try and move you like this, jump it. At the tower. Use that. Let me get the dragon off, please. Try to make sure that they don't go over here or anything. Uh, kill that guy, kill that guy. 1v4. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, then I probably just chill bot. Not bad. 
Well, this guy ulted me away, so I was against the wall and I was going to do it earlier, but then he ulted me away, so then I had to go back, and then, I don't know, by then it was just awkward. Then it wasn't letting me do it, and I was like, oh, shit, all right, I'll just flash. And then I flash into somebody that I could see on my ward. Dumb. Not the right play. Too greedy for the tower. Oh my god, please! When it rains, it pours. Noise. Alright, chillin'. Cause they're gonna send like 30 people to deal with me over and over. So until stuff is happening on the, on the other side of the map, there's really nothing for me to do. Like top wave shoved out to like here, they get regrouped and stuff like that. I also don't have teleport either. Chillin'. I don't think you can rush it with him bot lane. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The rotation. I don't see how you can rush that, bro. The rest of them are super far ahead. I don't know about super far. The problem is like, Pike has a lot of the gold. I don't have any vision here, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. This is great now because it forces people topside. See? Now they sent two top. It's so like mid should be getting shoved in. Alright, now I can start being more aggressive because I know where more people are. Pulls me away from the damn thing. <laughs> I don't have a ward jump anymore. Oh my god. It's whatever. We get Baron off of them sending three people again. Or four people again, bot lane. I just keep, I get stronger and stronger, so it's really not that big of a deal for me. Some Rage Blade. I'm down with the spice. I'm down with the spice. I think I get this because I get more on hit damage. All we have to do is play around the next dragon. I go top side. They have uh, Baron buff on bot side mid slash dragon. Or I maybe TP here behind them in four seconds. Yeah, it should work. If they go slow, or I don't know, see, it doesn't matter, I think. Because I'm behind them. Boom. Yeah, they just had to keep them in between. Let us complete the pincer. So we get dragon in a minute 50 here. I think I clear this and reset. Reset, grab this. Dragon. Soul. Ooh. Guys in top lane. I think that means I push for this. Because that means I see this guy in mid. Who else could be here? The Gnar? Good luck fighting me after I get all these stacks up. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. You can do that outside of my range, it's a pain in the butt. Should be alright. Woo! 
Just like that. Easy. Oh no, that'd be dumb. Let's not do that. <laughs> Why are my jumps taking so long? Sloppy. Alright, reset. Then grab this. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Do like a PD. That'd be cool. I don't want to this too. Yeah. The top side. I'm super strong. 300 AD. 2200 HP. Then our ultimate. I don't think I mentioned this part, but you're you get additional armor based on how much AD you have, and you get additional magic resist based on how much AP you have. So right now I have 150 extra armor and 70 extra magic resist for eight seconds when I activate it. I don't even want to count up all the on hits. Oh my god, that's a lot. Try and roam in here real fast. I think they're sending people. Oh, no thrall bots, I... He's sending Malice back. Probably the best bet. That guy can't deal with me. Oh, no. He's still mid. That guy can't deal with me, but it's probably their best bet. I did not want to do that. That's so good. Yeah, he's dead. As long as I hit the E. Oh, start moving. As long as I hit that E. So I just need to be next to the guy, because then he can't uh, ult me, because if he ults me, then he gets CC'd. I have to just close that distance ASAP. Oh, we MF ult that. Don't mind me. Da boom. <laughs> no damage here, buddy. Oh my god! Watch yourself, dude. <laughs> I love it. Titanic could be a last option. Oh, true. I didn't even think about Titanic. That'd be a solid one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a ton of uh, armor magic resist from R. Titanic gives you a bunch of extra HP, 500 HP. Plus a HP ratio for more attack damage as well. And that HP would be buffing up all that armor magic resist that you already have. True, true. It's definitely more the squishier side. <laughs> the thud, bro. The thud. I like it. Not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. A little S action. Ooh. The damage. Yeah, once you start snowballing this matchup, he picked first and I, I picked into him, so. I don't know if it's a counter pick, but it definitely feels like one because Mini Nar can't deal with you. And if you just E jump onto him, how does he deal with you? And then if you add in slows, because he only has one thing, which is his jump. So if you just jump and press your uh, stride breaker, and he jumps, it doesn't matter. He's still slowed. You press E afterwards and close it. Maybe I should have done the trade like that now that I think about it. Yeah. See, that's, that's why this shit is useful. Because me explaining stuff to you makes me realize the right thing. Because I'm trying to figure out the logical reason why something's correct so I can explain it to you. And then by doing that, I figure out what it is for myself. Yeah, I should have just been leaping, pressing stride breaker, because he's slowed even if he jumps like immediately, he's still slowed. He would have to preemptively jump, which means my my leap would never even go off. So anytime I leap, I would just press stride breaker, he gets slowed, he'd leap away, I press E, I run up to him, he's stunned, he's dead. Alright. That was like I think that's impossible for him. <laughs> Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're watching around YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.